Hey Virgo, welcome back to your weekend reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please put a like on the video if you enjoy the reading and please do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below the video that you can click. You can also go to my website and sign up with your email and you will get a free Twin Flame ebook immediately in your email in response okay so go check that out um yeah you guys so we're gonna take a look at your weekend reading <clears throat> excuse me see what's going on april 5th through the 7th see what messages there are for you in love see if career shows up whatever might show up we'll see okay one more please all right here we go all right, Virgo. Oh, you've got the chaser. Wow, cool. Chaser? Well, I don't know if that's cool. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issue. Okay. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And heart with a key. Which I can't pick up. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Opening your heart. Getting together perfect. This weekend in a nutshell. Okay. You're getting over something and probably meeting up with someone over the weekend. Somebody new. <clears throat> okay, but the person that you are done with or have finished or, or broke up with or whatever, look, this is making me nuts. It's got to be straight or my OCD is going to kick in. Um, is you're going to get chased. You're getting chased by someone. <laughs> you're going to hear from someone who maybe like they don't want you to go. That's what I'm hearing. Let's take a look and see. You're getting chased by somebody. Either somebody, they find, another person finds out that you're maybe dating other people or you're moving on with your life. Um, so you've got somebody else. Oh, gosh. Okay. Four of Wands. So this person I'm hearing has made a decision. They weighed all their options. Okay. Okay. Um, they can't lose you. They don't want to lose you. Nope, you can't go. They don't want you to go. <laughs> nope, listen. This person, they're being very strategic. Let me tell you that, okay? Um, give me a second. Like, they feel like all right, I'm just going to point blank, okay? I'm just going to say it. Do you feel like you're cheating? <laughs> okay, or you're betraying them by leaving them? Or if you have left them already, they feel betrayed by this? And um, they, listen, you're going to start seeing signs, if you're not already, that this person is going to start chasing you. They want to have some kind of reunion with you, or they're going to try to... Maybe come to your home. They might be knocking on your door, skipping right up to your door and knocking away. Maybe dressed as like the delivery person or something. I don't know. That's creepy. But you got this person on an emotional roller coaster, ups and downs emotionally. Like this, this, this person it could be a fire sign, could be an earth sign, could be an air sign. But look at the water. They're like, their emotions are so up and down. So. They have a, like an extreme fear of abandonment, okay? So, like, I, I don't know what the situation is. I don't know if you're if you're breaking up with someone this weekend or if you've already ended something. Um, they're coming. They're coming back around. Like, okay, I'll marry you. Or, yes, let's be in this committed relationship, you know, or I want to come see you. Um, I've been thinking about things. They might have multiple personality. <laughs> um <clears throat> It could have like um, like a cluster B thing going on. If you don't know what that is, look it up. But there's this, um, yeah. I, I need to get more clarity here. I don't know why. They're just saying get another card here. We'll tell you more. Oh, okay. Well, this person might have an anxious attachment, which would represent fear of abandonment issue. Um, oh, they're stressing. Just stressing over this weekend. What the heck? 
Maybe they find out. Are you going somewhere? Oh my gosh, yeah. They're like, no, 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 no. You're not going anywhere, Virgo. I can't let you go anywhere. <laughs> there's no cups card. Like, there's no cups card. Okay, so... Uh, oh, gosh. This person is, like, insanely worried. They're struggling. Feeling left out in the cold. Oh, they... they I just feel this person is chasing you because of their anxious attachment or their 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 anxiety. There's no cups card. So there's no emotion here. Maybe they're codependent. When codependency can equal control and manipulation. So Virgo, I just feel like at some point over the weekend you're either going to hear from this person or either they're going to get stimulated by something they see or something they hear either that you know if, if you're leaving or you've walked away or you're just like running away from this relationship they think you're running away whatever the issue i don't know exactly what you're doing i'm just telling you like what they're seeing from their end and there there's a preoccupation with you over this weekend where it's kind of like even though we struggle i still want to be with you that kind of thing. I don't, but there's no cups. So this five of pentacles, it's a card of insecurity. So this person, I feel like is coming after you out of their insecurity, which that's, that's rough. That's rough, Virgo. Okay. Um, and maybe you'll, you might, I don't know if you're going to, maybe you'll have a conversation with them over the weekend and say, you know, sorry, I can't do this. Uh, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Or that's already happened and this person is, they don't want to let you go. Okay, so will you hear from them? Well, let's see. Is there going to be any communication? Um, well, yeah, to some degree. I feel like this person is going to be very ambitious. They're driven. Um, I'll, I'm hearing I'll change. I'll change. I'll make that lifestyle change. Or I'll do I'll do things differently. Like, oh gosh. I don't know if that's something you want to hear. Maybe some of you are like, yes, this is what needed to happen. I needed to get out of this so this person could like come to their senses and figure out what the hell they're doing or what they want. For some of you, yes. That's maybe something that you needed to do. Okay? And if that's what you needed to do, hoping for this result, no matter if you need to do it or you're you did it already. Um, that's lighting a fire under this person's ass, right? Does that mean that they're coming in and then they're going to stay that way? Not necessarily, you know, but I do feel like when someone is, when someone's making a conscious decision and the two of pentacles can be a, a, a conscious decision of like weighing the options to be like, okay. Yes, I've thought about everything this one. They're in a hurry. But understand, when someone's making a decision out of insecurity, right? It's kind of like if you're in the house and the house is on fire, you don't care where you end up as long as you get as fast and as far away from that fire as you can, right? When someone's going from the, the frying pan to the fire, or vice versa, really, I mean... I just feel like there is no decision to be made when you're in a panic mode or when you're you're like trying to get somewhere else when you feel like you're freaking out, you know? So I'm not saying that this person is not thinking about it. They are weighing their options for sure. I mean, they have I do feel like they have this energy with the 2 of pentacles is where All right. Well, but they're in a hurry now to wait to, to to make a decision for some reason. Something's got them chasing you this weekend. Whatever it might be, you know. I don't know what you're gonna do or what you've done, but something kind of triggers them. It triggers their stress and anxiety. Maybe there was someone who's very passive and just lazy or procrastinator or whatever. Something's going on here, and they're like, oh shit, oh, shit, oh shit, I gotta do this now. I'm doing this now. Okay, I'm making this decision now for whatever reason. So, will you hear from them? Yeah. I think you will over this weekend. It could be going further into the rest of the week, you know, but yeah, you're definitely going to be getting chased. So the healing heart, this is, this is definitely freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction, um, healing from heartbreak. So there is this freeing energy happening this weekend. Okay. 
let's take a look. Okay, well, you know, when the cards talk, the cards talk. Three of Swords. There you go. So, heartbreak, heartbreak, healing from a heartbreak, moving on, getting out of dodge, separation. I feel like this is your energy, Virgo, where you're just kind of like, yeah, well, I guess what? I'm, I'm, I'm healing this. I'm done with this. Virgo. Could it be the other person? Yes. All right. Queen of Swords. That's either your energy or you're dealing with an air sign. Well, that is a Virgo card. Virgo, I feel like you've been kind of on the mend from something. And I feel like you're not judging yourself real harshly right now. That's what I feel like. Listen, I saw a quote the other day, and I think it's so true for the women and even for the men. I think when when someone is done complaining and nagging about a relationship, that's when the, you need to be careful. Not you specifically, but if you're not nagging, complaining, or bitching anymore about a person... That means you're done, right? Because the nagging and the complaining and, you know, the arguing and all is shows that there's still some kind of an attachment in the relationship because you care or you want to get something. Do you want some changes? You want some issues resolved? You're still arguing about stuff. But once, especially Virgo, when Virgo's like, you know what? Go ahead. Go on out with your friends. Go ahead. Go uh, ignore me for a week. Go ahead. It's fine. I'm good. I'm doing me. I don't care what you do. I'm not bitching and nagging. I'm not complaining anymore. I'm not trying. Because Virgo is like not trying to get their knee like done. That's the danger zone. <laughs> when someone, when Virgo is no longer complaining about it. And really just, just like whatever. It's pointless at this point. Moving on. Or anybody. That's the danger zone. That means that that person has mentally shifted. Virgo especially has mentally shifted. There's no hope left in Virgo's mind. So it's like, you're going to chase? Go ahead. What well, doesn't mean anything to me anymore? Because why? It's going to be the same old thing. We get back in this relationship and it's just the same old cycle. Virgo, I feel like you're being clear, concise with yourself especially, and maybe direct, not with just with yourself with other people. Like maybe you're being clear with yourself that you've been in a toxic relationship and it's heartbreaking and it's just not working maybe i feel like this weekend especially you're really thinking about this you're like look, looking at this long-term view here it's like virgo maybe you're even taking a look at your own toxic behaviors everybody's got them so don't you know don't come at me with the high horse shit. Everybody's got something. Everybody's got something. Maybe you're looking at your own trauma this weekend as well, which is good. Because look at this. The Seven of Pentacles is really like, look, taking stock. What the heck's going on? What am I doing? What have I invested? Have I invested too much? Have I overinvested? Have I put so much into this? I only got one left. Should I save it for myself? Should I save it for somebody else? Have I invested enough? Is this what somebody else has over-invested? And I've only given a little. It's a real kind of, you know, unbiased judgment with yourself, you know? Independent and setting some boundaries. Having direct communication with yourself and with another person. Being clear-minded, you know? Something happens over this weekend where you come to terms with what you need to do. Let me see here. Even about, even if you're just completely single and you're thinking about, you know, meeting another person or getting involved with someone else, um, maybe it's kind of like, you know, let me let me take a look at some of my toxic traits. Have I have I sorted stuff out? Have I st sorted out my avoidance behaviors? Have I sorted out my anxious behaviors? Have I have I, have I come to terms? Do, am, am I? I just feel like you're looking at that because I feel like you don't want to go into another relationship and have all this toxic stuff crop up again. And some of it will. There's always a residual, but are you working on that? Are you healing yourself? Yeah, it looks like you are. Maybe you're cutting out some addiction as well. Let's take a look. Let's see what else there is here. Okay. We've got the four of pentacles. Might be having a conversation also, private conversation with someone. <laughs> King of Swords. 
with your match. I feel like you make a match this weekend. You have a conversation. You're talking with someone this weekend who is a lot like you. About breakups, about separation, about maybe um, control issues, possessiveness behaviors, um, overgiving, undergiving. A lot of some psychological talk and stuff about toxic relationships or addiction. So this is very healing is what I feel like is happening here. Some conversation. You could be talking to a friend. You could be talking to a date. You could be talking to a counselor, therapist, a tower reader. I don't know. Anybody. So there's definitely a conversation going on. Um, maybe you talk to this person who's chasing you, who's showing up over this weekend. Could be. But you've got the lovers. And you have the Knight of Cups. So, hmm. There is some type of connection being made over this weekend as well. Um, I said yesterday in my reading, love heals a broken heart. So, yeah, I don't know. There could be a romantic thing with someone over this weekend. Maybe another air sign. Could be a Taurus. But yeah, there's a lot of healing. There's some communication that happens and some healing as well. I just saw the Five of Swords. So this does represent abusive relationships. So there may be some conversations about some type of abusive relationship or something that gets talked about as well. Okay, but there's healing, right? So it's good. I feel like over this weekend, maybe it's the first time you're opening up to somebody or sharing your thoughts and directly talking about things. I feel like it's going to be very healing, maybe even euphoric, cathartic for you um, to have this conversation and even to be in communication with someone else who's having a similar conversation with you. This is kind of like sharing mutual thoughts and ideas and like, yeah, yeah, me too, or that kind of energy. Okay. I just said me too, so I'm hearing hashtag me too. So it might have something to do with that as well. Now you also have heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together and perfect. So hmm, meeting somebody over this weekend. Okay. You get the five of cups, regret, disappointment, and you also have the queen of wands. Hmm. So fire energy, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. Um, you're definitely getting together with a masculine or a feminine fire sign or a Pisces. Or there's one who's um, regretful, remorseful. Hmm. I'm hearing this person says to you, I should have followed through on my plans that I had with you. Or I should have left home when the right time, when the timing was right. I should have left. I should have followed through and made that decision. I have regret and remorse that I waited so long. I'm also hearing that, someone saying that. I should have like made plans, followed through with plans with you. I'm hearing that conversation. Um, and, and, and if you're meeting somebody, so meeting the one, this could be somebody new or somebody that you already know is the one for you, um, saying this to you. Now, if it's somebody new, they're talking about, um, things that they have remorse or regret over not doing in the past. And if you knew them in the past and you didn't date, um, there could be, it, it might have for somebody Oh, I should have wish I wish we had dated earlier or something along those lines. I, I wish I dated you then or we would be together. So there's just like this. Okay. You also have the Queen of Cups. So also I said Pisces. We have Gemini, Cancer, and Scorpio. So there is some kind of conversation and um, some healing. Now for some of you, this is like with, could be talking with um. Oh, this could be a same sex, they said. A same sex relationship as well. Oh, there's so much travel energy happening here. Oh, Ten of Cups. Wow. So, 
if you've been in separation with someone temporarily, I feel like this person is showing back up over this weekend. Um, and I, especially if they abandoned you or left you disappointed or withdrew or they like walked away from something. I, this kind of feels like a family thing. So maybe it's a sibling for some of you or could be a child or a parent or family related as well. Um, getting together maybe with a sibling as well from you haven't seen in a long time. For some of you, that's going to happen for sure. Um, I'm also picking up like reconnecting with a family member that you maybe found on the internet or someone that you didn't know, um, never met. But you find out that you're related or you, you, you look up an old, you know, somebody was adopted or something along those lines. There's a connection. You've been away from each other for a really long time. You're definitely meeting someone significant on Sunday or at, at any time over this weekend. It's going to be significant. It's going to be related to divine love, a blissful relationship, fulfillment, dreams coming true, family, love, support, that kind of energy, maybe even marriage or, you know, a lifetime loving partnership with someone. What is this Ten of Cups says on the side here? Ultimate completion, final manifestation, result of true will, recognition, continuation, realization, and endings, bringing these new beginnings. So um, they just showed me 810. So I don't know how that relates to you. I'm also picking up someone who's 45 years of age or 48. Also 58, 54. Someone's born in 85. There's um, 410 and also 854 numbers that I'm picking up here okay let me get into a couple other messages here for you guys let's see what else is going on oh friendship wow friendship that's leading to more okay look out for this over the weekend there's a friendship that's going to turn romantic now this obstacles card fell in the reverse so generally when it comes out in reverse it says, um, wounds are being healed and are no longer blocking forward movement. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. You're definitely healing, healing heart. All right, you might be connecting with someone that helps to heal your heart. You've also got passion. So this weekend you're being called, Virgo, to try something you've never done before. Now that could just be a new food, right? Doing something out of your comfort zone or trying something new your advice this weekend is try something you've never tried before or you've done before whatever it is okay i don't know what your story is but you know where your comfort zone is okay there's a twin flame connection that wants a second chance with you okay you've got leap of faith and marriage wow so there's a twin flame connection that wants a second chance with you. It's going to take a leap of faith, and this could lead to a secret union over this weekend. This could be part of someone that you're meeting the one. This could be the chaser. I don't know who it is, but this is this is the lineup. <laughs> Off to the races. This is the lineup, Virgo. Weekend sounds pretty interesting, so to speak. You know, with that Mercury retrograde, anything's possible i just feel like the mercury retrograde people are coming out of the woodwork you probably notice your phone has been blowing up not just from people from your past but there's a lot of communication happening i mean i don't even like geico might be calling you three times a day i don't even know but you're i don't know if you'll you might notice this is going on and things are wonky like social media sites are down uh, you can't get your prescription. Your car's not starting funny or starting funny weird things. A lot of weird electrical things. A lot of telecommunication going on. Um, that kind of stuff. People are wanting to talk to you more. There's a lot of busyness with the Mercury Retrograde for you, Virgo. A lot of busy, busy, busy bodies. Busy, busy energy. High energy. 
Okay, you got a girl's night out or a guy's night out over this weekend. I may have that. Um, some of you might regret that you're going to say no, can't go. Got something else going on, right? Um, might be like, I regret to, I give my regrets. Have fun. Have fun, everybody. All right, you need to stand your ground over this weekend in regards to a new love start. And this just means for me, Virgo, that if you're meeting somebody new or there's a new love start in another relationship like this chaser for whatever reason, this is saying you need to make sure you have your boundaries up. Boundaries are not for other people. They're for you. You don't have to worry about, okay, well, person A, I got to put this boundary with them. Person B, I got to put that boundary with them. Person C, I got to do this. No, you just make your boundaries cohesive and let people adapt to you. This is, hey, this is how I roll. Like it or leave it. I don't really care. This is how I'm rolling. This is what I do. These are my boundaries. And that goes straight across the board. It should be straight across the board. You know? It shouldn't be like, okay, well... Like... No, it just should be straight across the board. I was just... <laughs> I was just thinking of something. I was like, that doesn't even make any sense, you know? I mean, I just feel like when it comes to dating, whatever your boundaries are for dating, if you're going to get into something new with someone, or you're going to try to have some kind of relationship with, with maybe the chaser person coming back, you got to like lay it out here. This is like, listen, you got to walk up to me and be like, just letting you know, these are my rules and regs. I'd like you to look them over here. Uh, this is how I operate, so I'm going to need you to um, study this guide, right? And um, there'll be a test later and see if you understand, because this is how I freaking roll. And if you don't like it, take a hike, right? <laughs> I am such a rooster. Like, I am born in the year of the rooster. I am such a rooster. Roosters do not give a F, honestly. We, and sometimes we put our foot, our feet in our mouth. Or put my, put our. That's just, that's weird. Somebody have a fetish? What's going on? Like a foot fetish? Okay. But seriously, if you're a rooster, born in the year of the rooster, let me just say, sometimes we we could benefit to shut up a little bit at times. You know. Okay, you're getting a sweet text message from someone this weekend. Yep, you're gonna hear from somebody. Maybe you're gonna respond to one. Or give one. You got positive vibes, right? So get out there, Virgo, this weekend. Go play. Do something fun. Enjoy yourself this weekend. The energies are strong and powerful. And all the world is your play place. Just love your life. I don't know. Go on the slide. Go play on the swings this weekend. All right. You got loving older female or male showing up for you this weekend. That's going to be a water sign. Um, older. You also, okay, they're going to give you a little bit of recognition and applause you this weekend. Okay, some victory. Um, highly supportive in your achievements, any of your achievements. Maybe they might even just find an achievement of you, about you, that you didn't even know existed and be like, you know, you're so amazing and here's why. Loving older female or male, very supportive. Some of you, the, you're going to get a loan offered to you. So money in the bank, hey. Some of you are going to be moving uh, to a, a more safer and secure area this weekend or place. And you're also going to take a risk. Time to spread your wings. Don't overthink things this weekend. I feel like just go out and have a good time, Virgo, whatever you're doing. I don't care if you've got nothing planned. Go walk around the lake. Go take a walk on the beach. Go hiking in the mountains. Go do something. And you've got Cupid's arrows, love messages, and travel for the weekend. Very nice. Hey, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm recording this in 4K, which means it's probably going to take half the day to upload. But can you tell the difference? I don't know if you can tell the difference. Leave me a comment or something in the chat if you can tell the difference. Um, usually I just record in HDR, but I'm doing 4K today to see. I want to see if there's a difference. Uh, it takes a long time to upload, but I don't know if like, I think YouTube just, you just upload 1080p i don't know what the heck am i talking i don't know what the difference is but anyway 
yeah let me know all right let's take a look at the chinese sun we're gonna look at you and see what your chinese sign is virgo show me virgo's virgo's chinese sign so it's if it doesn't resonate don't worry it doesn't mean it's not your reading all right so we're starting with the year of the goat year of the snake year of the ox year of the rat year of the monkey tiger rabbit and the pig okay so that could be you if not don't worry about it now let's move on to get to our initials and all that good stuff okay so we got an august birthday august 31st that shows up every single reading whoever the august birthday 31st are here i just want to give you a shout out because you got stuff going on don't you um so we've got a w somebody's name the initial w got a j you got a y and a c okay let me get all these here so i don't have to keep okay 1971 september 17th 1961 september 12th somebody's birthday is in july we have the letter g gg gina george greg 79 1982 43 we got the letter p pj jp 47 all right august 28th hey somebody's 55 the letter T, the letter A, we've got September 1st, and the letter E. Someone's name is Tay. Tay? Nickname Tay? T-A-E, just heard. Okay. Yugoslavia. Okay, August 24th. Someone's 35. Someone's in Indiana. Someone is 60. The letter O and the letter M. Mo. Okay, Monday's going to be significant. Yes, because it's April 8th. It's the eclipse. The uh, solar eclipse. <laughs> I won't be able to see it where I am. How about you guys? Anybody here? Let me know. Put it in the comments. Are you going to be able to see the solar eclipse from where you are? And if you are, where are you going? Where are you going to go? Are you like you going anywhere special? Is it going to be cloudy? I don't know. I'm hearing so much stuff going on about this solar eclipse. Like I know the state of emergencies in certain states have a lot to do with just the fact that there's going to be so many people, I guess, showing up in different states from areas where they can't see it. But I'm hearing a lot of conspiracy theories going on as well. <laughs> I saw I saw this solar eclipse the last time I remember I was a kid. And it was like in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. And I remember going outside. I looked straight up at it. I just remember seeing it. And I, I, I remember, and this is crazy, because I was like maybe 9, 8 years old, maybe 10, somewhere around there. And I, I didn't know about it when I was a kid. And I remember I went outside. I was like, why is it dark? Why does it look so dark? And I looked up at the sun. And I was like, what the F is that? <laughs> I was like a kid. I had no idea. I don't, we didn't have the internet back then. My parents were like, oh, hey, I guess nobody gave it. We just look at, okay, yeah, the this, this, this sun's being blocked by the moon. And that was the extent of it. And then we saw it and then it passed. And then we went on with our day. Like it wasn't that big of a deal. There was no solar eclipse parties, you know, on the internet. Nobody make it. It was just, hey, guess what? <laughs> if you're going to look up, wear your 3D, whatever glasses you got to wear. I just, that was the last time I saw one. That I, That's the last one I remember. I don't, I'm sure there were others, but I just remember I was like, wow, that's so cool. And it looked like, like a, like a bright white ring around this black dot. <laughs> I just remember that was really cool. But that's the extent of it for me. I'm not having a party. I don't really give it F. I'm sure it'll look cool. Um, I, but if you go and you're having a good time with it, I hope you enjoy yourself if you're doing something in regards to the solar moon thing, whatever you're doing, I hope you have fun. All right. But you know what? If you guys know anything about like all the talk that's going around, definitely leave a comment. Like, let me know what the heck's happening in this world. Jesus. All right. We have cancer. Leo, significant to you. September 5th, Aquarius is significant to you, Virgo. Oh, 
just dropped a chart. And Scorpio and Virgo. And here you have, how many times is that going to flip? Well, you got a strawberry. So, strawberry. Are you eating strawberries right now? That's a weird looking strawberry. Kind of, it's a strawberry. Um, either you're eating them or that's a nickname or the name of a road or a place. Um, you have some kind of connection to strawberry this weekend. Will be really profound. Like, I mean, strawberries are not profound, but it's going to be like, wow, this is the best strawberry ice cream I've ever had. Or the strawberry lip gloss. I don't know what's going on, but there's significance to the strawberry this weekend. What else do you have? Oh, you've got a little birdie here. See, now to me, that bird always looks like the the, the twi Twitter bird. And I know we don't call it that anymore. It's just X. But something to do with, um, I don't know, you might be feeding the birds this weekend. Or maybe you're going to hear the birds for the first time because of weather or something you might have a bird maybe or you're going to get a little bird a canary or do something so this bird is significant this weekend and bird also represents they're just saying to me i don't know if it represents but they're just saying there's communication messages and also you've got a music a little music uh, symbol here so bird song something to do with music this weekend as well being significant, singing, birds sing, they don't play instruments, but they sing, so maybe you're singing over this weekend, or maybe you'll just do karaoke, or be a part of some kind of like, I don't know, maybe you sing in a band, and hey, you got a gig over the weekend, awesome, this this is great, this is, this is definitely going to be your reading, so if you resonate with any of those charms, if you're new, I give the charms to give you more qualification for your reading so if the, if that resonates or any of the initials or numbers that gives you more qualification to say hey yeah this is your reading just so you know right um but if it doesn't resonate it doesn't mean it's not your reading if something you know you'll find out when the weekend's over everybody always comes back and it's like holy shit everything you said last weekend happened you come back on monday yes it happened i love to hear that so if you have that experience on any of my weekend readings and something happens that I talk about, definitely hit me back up in the comments or in the chat or whatever. And just, just like be like, hey, I've seen some of you do that. And I think that's like super awesome. I feel like um, even I saw one comment from someone where they said, this weekend hasn't even finished. It's only Saturday. And this has already come true for me. Let me see. I had a couple of you. I, uh, Virgo star 83 I knew this reading would happen and that it was meant for me a lot of this reading happened a friend invited me out for dinner and then had to cancel and then she goes on and on and on and then Philly 215 LL4 yes this played out exactly the way you said thank you yeah so you guys my readings are like spot on I guess I'm not saying that because I don't know what's happening in your life but when you say it Miss Virgo Love 8418. Wow, so resonating. It really happened to me Friday night with a new person. And yeah, so definitely let me know if this energy plays out for you. All right, long enough. That was a long weekend reading. So go ahead and join my channel, $2.99 per month. Just click the join button and you guys can be part of the Virgo gang here in the chat and do sign up on my website. There's a link in the description box. It says Linktree, House of Virgo. Go to that link and you'll see on there, there's all the different links. You can shop products on my website. If you sign up with your email on my website, you'll get a free um, 11 Signs You've Met Your Twin Flame ebook that will be delivered directly to your email. If you don't get it, shoot me an email and let me know. You can book readings there and do all that really cool stuff, right? So welcome Royce Morris, Anna Rodriguez, Tiffany Conlin to the House of Virgo channel membership, Sean Varner, Joanne Carballo, Carrie Lucas Smith, Danielle Cranage, Persephone, I know she's a moderator, Bella B, Orist, Michal, Mimi, and thank you everyone for joining. I greatly appreciate that. I hope you guys have a fan freaking tastic weekend. Seriously, have a good weekend. I don't care if you're not just going to sit on the, on the couch and 
I don't know, watch that Peacock Selena movie, a documentary. Whatever you're doing, be happy. Love your life. Love yourself. Enjoy your weekend with or without anybody. Do whatever makes you happy. I will see you guys all back here Sunday evening for your week ahead reading. Love you. Bye, mods. Thank you. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.